very quickly then, um, how was it teaching? Um, just as a quick little dovetail, um, did, did you enjoy it for those years? Did I enjoy what, sorry? Uh, teaching, sorry. Teaching. Yes, I actually, I'm not a trained teacher. Mm. So uh, I was employed basically on my experience and work I'd done and people mm. who knew my work. Uh, I found it absolutely fantastic. I mean, what happened was you'd have a class of maybe 10 students per session. Mm. Most of them had been trained in film school in other areas of it, you know, mm. all sorts of areas. Actually, they knew more than I could have extra instructed them. In. My mm. job was to instruct them and work with them uh, in performance and direction in front of cameras. Mm. Um, so what does it mean to work in front of a camera? How does that intimacy involve you in terms of performance? How do you prepare for it? How do you shoot it in the most uh, economic way? Don't mm -hmm. waste time. Time is money. I mean, all the things that work on film and then the budgetary considerations. But the actual purpose of my being there was to then find out who possibly had the talent. And mm -hmm. let's face it, when you've got a 10 groups of 10, your experience tells you who's actually going to be successful yeah. and those who unfortunately are going to fall by the wayside. But you can't tell them that. Mm. You've got to treat each one of them equally and try and help them implicitly, you know, your experience tells you. And the one thing I used to do, because we were up in San Francisco, I'd say to them, now what do you want to do with your lives when you graduate? Mm. Well, we want to direct, we want to act. Yeah, but where? Well, we want to go down to Los Angeles. And I said, right, let me just say something to you guys. You ladies, you were probably told you were the local beauty queen in town. And uh, that sent you off on your trajectory. You came to San Francisco because you had to deal with other things academically. But it's all very well being a beauty queen uh, in your small town you have to have say, something very special right. as an actress or as a person, because when you go down, you will see in LA that there are more than a hundred of you all competing yeah. for the same part. And if you haven't got that something special, be prepared for what mm -hmm. ensues, because that is a town which rejects very quickly. I used to give them this without frightening them, mm. but they were hopefully adult enough to know what they were, I was talking about. So, but for me, the best part of it was when we do scenes, by the way, we do scenes from well-known projects. I mean, I'd say things like, um, we're gonna do a scene from Days of Wine and Roses. Mm. Now, I don't want you guys to go and look at the original film. I want you to look at the script, in the script, the woman is a reformed alcoholic, as, as her, was her husband. Their marriage split up. And then the scene is all about them trying to get together again. And then I turn to one of them and say, how old are you? And she'd say, well, I'm 22. I say, right, the character's 35. Do you know what it means to be 35? Well, I don't know. Well, then go and think about it. Think about people who know that age group. And let me know, because then I'll be able to tell you whether you're mature enough to play the role. Mm. See what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting things from people. I'm, that's my job as a film person, as a teacher, as someone who mm. communicates. And I'm happy to say that particular scene that I've just mentioned was probably one of the best <laughs> I actually ended up directing with these two. The couple really got it. They, they mm. just nailed it. And this woman, the actress herself, I think was actually about 25, 26 but she got it. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes it didn't happen. Sometimes, you know, you can't be Stanley Kowalski to Blanche Dubois. <laughs> sometimes it's way beyond you. And I wouldn't have tried that scene anyway. It would have yeah. been too, too difficult. But that was my job as a teacher up in San Francisco. And I had a really good time. And it kept my, it kept my creative wheels oiled. Mm. 